Yo, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. With just a few days left till the end of the season, we're about to get a huge weekend in Call of Duty Mobile. Not only we're getting a new season, but also the COD Mobile Championship qualifiers rounds will start this weekend. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out tomorrow's videos because we might have more interesting news about the tournament. But today's video is all about the new update. We're going to talk about the new changes to multiplayer, new game modes, two new maps, some new weapons, uh, and changes to Battle Royale also, and a new season pass. So guys, let's get started and hit the like if you're excited for season six. So guys, three days remaining till the end of season five battle pass. So we're about to get a brand new one, but not only a new season pass, there's gonna be a lot of changes in COD Mobile, in Battle Royale and in multiplayer. Guys, let's start with the official trailer for season six. So here's your official trailer for season six. It's on the Garena uh, YouTube, by the way. Uh, Legends are made, it's gonna be a Wild West season. Uh, you saw the ghost, also the ghost cowboy skin, new map rust, which is a uh, classic and also saloon. Now, uh, pretty sure you guys saw some leaks on Twitter, new weapons. I'm a big fan of that one. RUS 79U, it's what I use right now. New Sniper Outlaw is gonna be also pretty sick. Gonna talk about it later uh, in the video. That chick also, I've seen in the leaks. Uh, it's not on the season pass, but still, it's gonna be more than just the season pass. Lots of new weapon skins and stuff like that. New game modes, guys. So uh, we're gonna check the patch notes because there's a lot of stuff coming soon. So let's get into the patch notes, guys. We will have two new maps, as I said previously. So the first map will be Rust, and Rust is not a new map in Call of Duty Mobile. It was already, I think, in Modern Warfare 2, but they say it uh, in the official patch notes. I know a lot of guys were excited for Rust because it's such a great map. I didn't play much uh, Modern 2. I played more Black Ops. But the new uh, one is called Saloon, and it's the second original map, like brand new map only for COD Mobile. The first one I think was Cage, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're gonna get new uh, multiplayer modes and that's pretty exciting. The first one is 1v1 duels. Guys, uh, a lot of you guys asked me this weekend to do some tournaments in saloon duels. This game mode will be uh, guns only, so no score streaks, no nothing. Kill confirm is not new, it's been in previous games, so Basically, when you get kills, you have to go pick up the dog tag to confirm your kill. And we also get uh, capture the flag. Now, let's talk about the Outlaw Sniper, guys. This is going to be a brand new sniper in the game. And this one will be probably very popular because it's for the run and gun play style. If you guys like to go around the map and quick scope, well, this one is fast movement, fast ADS. So it should have less hit markers at close range, but they say it will have lower range. So if you're on a big map and you get long shots, you will get more hit markers. That's what I understand. So it's really a sniper for close range action. And it's looking pretty fire. It looks like the skin is animated also. So Outlaw is the name, guys. And they say it will be on the free battle pass and the paid battle pass. Now, Battle Royale changes brand new Poltergeist uh, Operator or um, Specialist. You will be able to become invisible for a short amount of time, so it should be interesting. Now, they will also add new guns, but there's a brand new Legendary Annihilator uh, in Battle Royale at least. But the Annihilator is a one-shot, one-kill weapon. Now, the Wild West Battle Pass should be also a pretty cool one. We already see some new characters. Uh, let's start with the first one. So the first one should be in the paid battle pass, I guess. So far, they only put the skins in the premium pass. Uh, Ghost Cowboy. And you guys probably saw some leaks on Twitter. Also some posts on Reddit. A bunch of new characters coming in the near future. But this one's on the season pass. And uh, yeah, Ghost is always a popular character in Call of Duty series. The Cowboy skin, I don't know if I'm a big fan. I guess it's okay. But anyways, it's in the season pass. Now, the second one is Seraph Tombstone, and it's only the second Seraph skin we got. Pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there was the Seraph Freak Show in, um, it was in a Lucky Draw, a pretty expensive uh, skin. Now, on the trailer, you also saw the other girl character skin, and that one, I think, is the best I've seen in all the, the trailers and all the leaks so far. Uh, this is the character skin I think we'll be looking for, but it probably is going to be in the crates. 
might have to spend a, a few bucks on that one but it's looking really really good we also see other weapons here now on top of the new weapons that will be added of course there's gonna be tons of new weapon skins and we saw a bunch of leaks on twitter earlier this week but there's gonna be some changes to the battle pass guys in the previous seasons you had some uh, some challenges to do and these challenges were giving you xp to progress on the season pass so what they say now is the battle pass tasks will be removed this season and how it's going to work now is when you play you earn battle pass xp so all you got to do is play to progress through your season pass no specific challenges so you don't have to do stuff that you don't like you just play your own way and it's gonna give you some xp and progression now why buy the season pass and the paid one well, the premium pass users will get extra XP. So that's how it's going to work. But they already had extra points because they had some gold challenges that were only for the season pass users. So, um, yeah, instead of completing the tasks, you will earn XP by playing. And if you bought the season pass, you'll get more XP to complete it faster. So it's going to be pretty similar to what it was before, but you won't have to go out of your way to do stuff that you don't usually do. Now, of course, on top of that, we'll get some balance changes to the weapons, but we're not sure if it's gonna happen now or just at the end of a rank season at the end of May. Now, there is something else that was uh, officially revealed. It's not a leak or anything. It was officially revealed on the Facebook of Call of Duty Mobile, not Garena, but the official one. It's called the Cryo Bomb. It's a new uh, tactical grenade, apparently. And it says in the description, release a surge of freezing air that will slow your enemies. Now we get a bit of gameplay or, or footage on the official Facebook. So you throw the bomb, there's a pretty big radius. And But what we see in the video is people getting shot when they're not looking. So it's going to be tough to judge how good it really is until we get it. Because it doesn't really show uh, the movement speed being slowed. So I guess we'll have to wait. Now, it's always exciting to get new stuff in the game. I'm looking forward to the Annihilator. One shot, one kill. And apparently it's an Operator skill. It's going to be in multiplayer. I thought it was going to be a Legendary in Battle Royale. Uh, maybe both. I'm confused right now and we'll see when it comes out. But definitely it is an Operator in multiplayer. Also, you guys know I play a lot of Battle Royale. So always anxious to try the new stuff when new stuff comes out. Uh, recent editions were pretty fun for real. Uh, the Airborne is actually a pretty good one uh, and the Trickster is very cool. So that one, I don't know, looks like it's gonna be a very short uh, duration but it can win you games maybe in final circles. Being invisible for a short amount of time allows you to reposition and trick your opponent. So I guess in solo BR it's gonna be better than in squads but we will see also. But no matter what, there's only three days remaining till this season ends and you know usually it's very very quick usually the day after it ends the new one starts so you probably won't have to wait a few days till the start of season six battle pass and once again we'll have to wait uh and see because i'm pretty sure guys the rank multiplayer will not end this week it was a short season for the season pass but last time that was the same we had two season pass or two battle pass before the reset of the rank season so uh, a lot of guys say end of may will be the rank reset now will the balance changes take effect only when the season reset i think that would make sense but again we'll have to wait if you guys know already type in the comments and uh yeah that's gonna be it for today guys type in the comments down below what you're most excited for in the next season there's a lot of stuff for real and it's gonna keep us busy for a while uh, and once again, guys, the COD Mobile Championship qualifiers will be starting in a few days also. So tomorrow we should have official news. Again, they said on the 28th. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't miss the next videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like if you enjoyed and if you're excited. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.